Crab Tendo. What is going on guys? We are back at it again. I definitely wanted to do this video because it holds a special place in my heart. This Core Triton is a classic keyboard that was used a lot in hip hop, especially by two people that I admire, which is Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams, both combined for the Neptunes. At the top right of the screen, I have a documentary that you should check out. It was my 100th video. I'm like at my 1100th video now, or if not the 1200th video, but I definitely want you to check it out. And I know at this time it's $200. And if you think about it back in 1999 to get a Korg Triton, you had to have $4,000. So we was going up to Guitar Center, spending a whole lot of time with the Korg Triton until they shut it all down and locked the floppy disk. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm gonna start with the Neptunes. Please leave a comment below if there are some patches that you want me to cover in another video or a producer because I'm definitely gonna do that. Let's go. So let's start with the Captain Obvious one and that is the grinding drums and it's under the percussion kit in the category drums. Damn, I did it really bad. But anyways, uh, what I find funny is that the jungle drum kit is not in here. That's kind of weird. Like. That's the drum kit that was used in the song Light Your Ass on Fire by the Neptunes and with Buster Rhymes and all that. That is weird. That's not in here. I don't know why. But moving forward here, I want to do a Captain Obvious one. We're going to go into keyboards, that category, and then I'm going to turn the piano up because I have a 25 key keyboard. And then I'm going to pick acoustic piano. Sing with me. Damn, people are gonna clown me. But anyways, so that's Hot Damn. That's the Hot Damn piano there. I mean, it's kind of obvious or Cot Damn. I don't know what how they say it. But other than that though, I'm gonna go ahead and move into another category. We're gonna pick uh, the Wood and Reed. And this one is very easy and obvious. It is the Bamboo Silver Flute. Let me go ahead and drop the... Let me actually play it right though. And that is the from nothing. I think that's the right song. So the actual patch itself is called Bamboo Silver Flute. It is in the category Wood and Reed. So yeah, that's another one. I'm I hope everybody will enjoy that one. I know a lot of people say that it could be the pan flute or whatever. Or what was somebody said it was the war pipe. No, but they did use the, that particular flute. Either way, if you're a flute guy, <laughs> the Triton actually has you. Uh, that's for sure, for sure. Uh, another one, or bassoon, I think they was, everybody was saying. Nah, that, that, that does not sound like the bassoon. No, sir. No, sir. Definitely <laughs> the Bebu Silver Flute. So the next one is the Chorus E Guitar, which is in Guitar and Plucked. And obviously, that's the Hollaback Girl sound. Sorry guys, I don't I don't necessarily know uh, the actual keys for that. Um, it, even though it's simple as hell. Go ahead and criticize me. Anyways, so we're gonna go back into drums and I definitely wanted to, and I forgot, I do apologize. I'm gonna go ahead and use search this time and this is a perfect example of how good uh, the Korg uh, Triton plugin is. And I'm gonna type in orchestra. I've only typed a little bit of it because orchestra ethnic is here. And this one is like various drums that they use in different songs. And you know, that's from throw them bows or whatever, wherever it was called by Ludacris. So that's a definitely something that everybody wanted to know. So yeah, you can hear a lot of the inspiration that the Neptunes had when it came down to the core Triton and how many people really like it. Uh, what is another one? What is another one that I can do? Oh, Jay-Z, yeah. And what was it called? Uh, I Still Wanna Love You? Give it to me? That, all right, so let's go and do that one. Let's find that. So we're gonna go into guitars 
I'm going to go and uh, select the Strata Chime, which is the Give It To Me. <laughs> That's the best I can play it. You have to go into uh, easy mode, and then you can just turn off the certain things like the uh, delay over here, the reverb, you know, and then and then there you go. You got the Strato Chime clean, just like the Neptune. So for those who are that think the effects really do change the sound, it does a little bit. Yes, it does. But uh, next one here, we're going to go over here and select like, I don't know. I'm just going to go into strings because they use the Arco strings a lot. Obviously, that's a sound that's pretty popular for the Neptunes. You know, I'd use your imagination on that. They just use that a lot. Uh, also, and that's in strings, of course, Arco strings and strings. And then also they had... A couple of other sounds that they used a lot. The, the dynamic E guitar, I believe it's called. Um, let me see if I actually have it checked off. Maybe not. I guess not. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. D and uh, D-Y. There we go. Dynamic E guitar. I'm going to go ahead and favorite it. Let's pick it out. I mean, it sounds like the, the chime strat or the strat chime. So that's pretty normal. But yeah, they use the same sounds a lot. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm going to go back out. I'm going to deselect guitar. We're going to go and check out another sound. I'm going to type in uh, old. I believe old and analog is another sound that they used a lot. And let's see. Yes, definitely another sound that they used a lot. So that's another sound here. Uh, trying to think here, what other sounds did they use? Oh, I just thought of one, uh, the harmonica. I mean, they always use the harmonica in everything. So I'm going to go ahead and type in harmonica. And there we go. And the harmonica is right there. I can't remember how the I'm a G goes. <laughs> I wish I actually had where y'all could see the keys. I think that would be easier. Because I know y'all want to know the actual chord progressions of this. But yeah, the harmonica, and I believe it's a little higher in octave. And then also keep in mind that if you do like use some of the sounds and stuff like that and they don't sound exactly as is, the main thing that the Neptunes did was layer uh, their chords with a bass. So so one of the bases that you can use, and I think it will work very well, is the dark R&B bass. Uh, it's definitely one that I would use. Uh, also the digi bass. I'm gonna make sure that I <laughs> favorite those. <laughs> yeah, I gotta favorite my stuff. Yeah, but but anything that could really fill out that lower end, so you can get a bigger, wider sound out of like your chords that you play. So I know a lot of people are gonna say, "Where's the Justin Timberlake at?" Like. Uh, the only one I could think of that I seen and just had a reference for was the Rock Your Body. And that one I actually looked up and I guess it says like Glass Bell. So I'm going to type in Glass and see if Glass Bell Bright. I think that's the one. And that's also factory sound. So that was the, the Rock Your Body was actually played with uh, the guitar. No, I messed up. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to play it exactly right because copyright claims and strikes and all that. Now, I, I think they, I think Pharrell and them are signed to Atlantic, so they are very vicious on my channel anyways. <laughs> so I want to go ahead and cover one more. And this one I found looking it up on the interwebs. And that is the drop your, e drop down and get your eagle on girl. Flap your wings, I believe is what it's called. But uh, it's, I'm going to go ahead and just, since I'm in the category, just type in digital uh, polysynth. And it's already here. I just typed in just a little bit of that. And I don't.
Let's go ahead and travel over here to strings real quick. And I'm going to cover the 702 I Still Love You 702. Whew. Uh, not my favorite area code, but however, I do love that group. So <laughs> some people will get up, uh, will understand what I'm talking about there. But anyway, so I believe is this. <laughs> this i don't know no no it's definitely this so g uh so g i want to say g7 but that'd be a g7 right there g major fancy chord i believe it'll be a g9 and i believe doesn't sound right though anyways i try to play it but yeah the pizzicato strings uh definitely in there but yeah they're in there i know somebody just described him appreciate that but yeah so yeah so tell me how you feel about this video. I hope you really enjoyed the presentation because I definitely want to dedicate time to the Neptunes because they mean a lot to me in terms of hip hop. They did produce about 97% of music, music, not just hip hop at one time. So they have a ton of placements, a ton of great songs, a ton of hits. And we all know that for real continue to do his thing as well as Chad Hugo. And it's really good to do these type of videos and I get a special uh, filling in my heart by, you know, educating you guys about the history of music, especially when it comes down to gear, even if it is software we're talking about. So let me know in the comment sections below about some special stuff that you want me to talk about in the next video.